Well, hello again from Kingston, where we've continued to enjoy exciting times. A lot of equipment moving, a lot of things changing, and spring cleaning certainly coming to fruition. So if you want to be sure you haven't missed anything, please keep watching and expect wildlife at the end. It can only have been a most unpleasant surprise on Monday to return from the weekend to minus 11 degrees centigrade and the need to sand the causeway. That ensured a safe move forward of the Tadano wheeled crane and its positioning where it would work for most of the week lifting brackets and lumber onto spans 21 and 22. Some supplies had been delivered, but a look down span 22 on Monday would reveal that no brackets had yet been placed. By Wednesday, the situation was quite different. Bear in mind that each of these brackets weighs about 200 pounds, and the support of the crane is essential. With brackets in place, the wooden walkways are added. And the process is repeated until such time as all the brackets and walkways are in place. The delivery of a large container to the steel structure on Thursday, demanding the deployment of the LR1200, perhaps indicated that we can expect a lot of work ahead on the steel spans. A look at the covers beyond will show you just what a windy day this was. The team from Black and MacDonald were back in the early part of the week, completing the installation of cable and its connection to the control cabinet which now sits on the southwest corner of Gore Road and Highway 15. I'm fairly sure that cold winds and the odd snow flurry didn't contribute to enjoyment of this task. Regular viewers of these updates will be in no doubt about the importance of reinforcing rod. Regular deliveries mean there's a steady demand for the crane to lift the rod onto the deck for the amazing workers of ABF actually install it. It's painstaking work, demanding extraordinary concentration physical skill and determination to place everything absolutely correctly. But it's a remarkably cheerful group. Spring cleaning, one of last week's major themes, continues. We've seen equipment removed from site and also the removal of excess material including the old concrete washdown remains. The remains of snow that had been obstructing the workers' car park were also removed. And a bulldozer and heavy roller were also taken away from the site to serve another project. They will return. Skips from the Waste Management Company removed excess material from both ends of the project this week.
cleaning up occasionally involves rehabilitating working surfaces too. The presence of Promark on Gore Road this week, they locate underground utilities, and the visit of a survey vehicle from Utilities Kingston suggests that infrastructure work will come into focus before long. A large blue PVC pipe that was laid down this week is likely destined to join the abutment and the drainage on the bridge. On the early spans, at the west end of the bridge, besides bracket removal, finishing work is taking place. A really good sign. We'll go to wildlife this week, noting that the first night shifts of 2022 began on Sunday. They'll run Sunday through Thursday from 5 in the evening to 3 in the morning. Well, that's another week gone. Thanks for watching. And please remember, if you enjoy these updates and you want to be sure of seeing them, consider subscribing. I'd be really grateful. Bye for now.